Have you ever? Have y'all ever? Y'all, ever, y'all taste y'all nut before, right? No. <laughs> no. 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 What? No. What did you say? Dwight, do that thing you do. Yeah. What did you do, Dwight? What did you say? Now you taste your nut. Nah, sure. son. I have not. So how you? So you're releasing something into someone else that you personally haven't tried? Absolutely. It, Y'all gotta get y'all peoples, man. You gotta get your peoples, man. He out there trying to make that shit sound. You're wrong. You you just releasing something into 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 other people that you haven't tried yourself. This ain't a sample at the mall. What I'm trying that for? It's, that's body mind activities. That's body mind activities. I don't care. It's your body. Like, no. it's your body. You, you bite your nails. It's, you bite your nails, it's nails, not you the same. No. no. You bite your nail, bro. It's not the same. I'm sorry. Nah, that's nasty. I'm, I'm, I can't do that. I can't do that. I can't. Mm. Next video. <laughs> Next video. I don't even want to think about that. I dated a man once, and <laughs> I didn't date him long. And because of this, he was so close with his daughter. He took her to school every day. He picked her up every day. After school, they would go out and have dinner together, eat out, whatever. And then I think she lived with her mother at that time. But this man was on this girl every single day and all hours of the day. Sound like he was being a good and father. Plus, when she went off to college, you see, he was up there every weekend. He knew every boy that tried to talk to her and he was all in between it. You understand? I, I, I sympathize with your dilemma. I left him because of that. I, <laughs> if I'm not first, then I don't want to be in it. You understand? I don't want to be in it. And plus, I'm going to tell you something. Some of these men have been inappropriate with their daughters. Oh, hell no. Now you just, now you just, now you just talking. Now you just talking. Those are serious allegations, man. You see, that's why they feel ownership over them. You see, you have to be very careful with a situation like that. And I'm going to tell you, I don't think I dated a man once and... <laughs> I don't want to be disrespectful to nobody's grandmother. You know what I'm saying? But based on how she is and how the things she's saying, I don't know if she even got grandkids. But, um, yo, you have to be very careful when you have kids who you choose to make a step-parent. You feel what I'm saying? You got to be very careful who you choose to make a step-parent to your children because... Some people don't like the fact that you love your kids. And some people are in competition with your kids. People are going to be in competition with your kids. You don't want that. You don't want nobody that's, oh, well, why you got to go hang out with your daughter? Or why you got to go hang out with your son? Why you feel the need to take your son to his basketball games? Or why you feel the need to listen to your son over me? You don't. You don't want them type of people around your kids, bro. Like, somebody like her, I don't want to be disrespectful because, you know what I'm saying, she got one foot in the grave right now, but she left the man because he was a good father. That's all I heard. From everything she said, that's all I heard. She left the man because he was a good father. She said, if I'm not first, I'm not in it. How do you expect somebody to pick you over their kids? Huh?
Does that make any sense? I don't even want to go in about like having step parents, bro, because I had two step parents, and you know what I'm saying the relationship was was never like the best. So this this kind of hit hit home for me. <laughs> yeah, this hit home for me. I ain't. So let me tell you something. So I got this house right here. I was renting, right? Mm -hmm. I was renting to somebody, right? And then I got somebody that's buying it. His lease is up. And he's supposed to be moving this stuff out. And my has been going back and forth about moving this stuff out. So we come here today. He changed the locks. So we, we, we get the locksmith to come. We come inside. He changed the locks? I come inside. He stopped the sink up. He running water in the sink. Letting the sink overflow. And hopes to damage all of my stuff. I go upstairs to use the bathroom. Which is crazy that I had to use the bathroom. So I run upstairs real fast through the bathroom. He got the tub running. They stopped the tub up. Right? But the tub only halfway full. Right? In order for the... In hopes that the tub is going to spill over and run all down and destroy my stuff. Like, I don't understand y'all niggas, man. I don't. I don't get y'all, man. I don't get y'all niggas, man. Y'all weird as shit. Y'all worse than hoes, man. So let me tell y'all something. So I got this house right here. I was renting. Yo. <laughs> my boy been trying to get me to uh, get into real estate and I see what he's going through and I say yo that might not be for me that might not be for me he just, he got a good job he went and bought a crib uh, he got three tenants and this is his first time doing it and his first tenant he just recently got her evicted last month and it's still not over because her sons left the window open in the crib and now they're like they well they were crawling into the crib and sleeping in the crib and stuff like that even after he evicted her and I think they destroyed certain parts of the house let me tell y'all something man <laughs> do your research before you let these people in your house because you know what's you know it's messed up about that situation too The real estate agent that suggested her as a tenant for him, they actually forged her documents. It wasn't until he had to take her to court to get her evicted that he found out that she has been jumping from place to place doing the same thing. The same thing. It had an incident where the other tenant that lived downstairs ended up getting arrested because she had to pull a gun on this lady. This lady went up in her house, came down the stairs, and threw a bucket of piss at the tenant downstairs. And they calling this man and, and just, man, she, she, she at it again. Like, every other day, the tenants over there was complaining about her. She finally out, but it still ain't over because her sons is over there trying to stay in this man's crib. Be careful who you rent your place with. Be careful who you rent your place to. It's some, it's some evil people out here. It's some very, very evil people out here. I've seen videos of... of I've seen this one video. This lady rented out an Airbnb to another, another female. And I don't know how Shorty was able to do it, but she ended up getting squatters rights out for that. I don't know if she sent some mail there. Like, the day she got there or whatever. But she was, she was only supposed to be in that Airbnb for a week. She ended up being in there for months. And the messed up part is, um, she in there eating this woman food out the fridge. The lady had a pet in the house. The owner now. The owner has a pet. And she over there talking about, yo, I done told you to leave the dog outside. I done told you to leave the dog outside. You in my house. Telling me. I need to leave my dog outside. Shorty was on the phone. She was talking. She, Oh, you talking too loud on the phone. I'm trying to sleep. You in my house. Telling me I'm talking too loud. You trying to sleep. I, I, don't, I ain't going to hold you. I don't got no patience for that shit, man. I'll catch a case. I'm the wrong person for that. I'll catch a case. I'll be like emotional and stuff like that. I, I I get emotional when I feel disrespected. And that right there is a very disrespectful situation. 
So I, I haul off and pull my gun out on somebody. So I'm I'm good. <laughs> I'm good, man. Shout out to everybody else though that are, that is being real uh profitable doing real estate. I just know real estate ain't it ain't for me. I don't like dealing with people, so I think that's what it is. I ain't gonna say real estate ain't for me. I just don't like dealing with people. If there's a way to deal with real estate where I don't have to deal with tenants and all that, I'm definitely gonna do that. I would definitely do that, but no, no, no. <laughs> anyway, man, that's today's video. I hope you enjoy. Um, two things that I, I want to say: be careful on who you bring around your kids. You know what I'm saying? You might fall in love with somebody. They might be good for you, but they may not be good for your kids. So you have to pay attention to that. And be careful who you rent your house to. Okay? If you want to get into real estate, I'm not going to knock it. It's a it's a great way to invest your money, great way to make um, passive income. But be very careful who you rent your house to. There's some evil people walking around these, this world, man. All right. Squat.